What makes an object move in a circle? The answer is simple. Apply a force to the object aimed in the direction of the center of the circle and the object will travel in a circle. Here's the diagram. So if I apply, if here's the center of the circle, that's the circle I want to, want the object to move. If I apply a force and I continue pointing that force towards the center of the circle as the object moves, the object will continue, uh, continue traveling in a circle. So here I'm pointing towards the center and I successfully cause the ball to move in this direction. You can imagine this being something like a bowling ball and um, I keep applying towards the center like that. So apply a force to the object aimed in the direction of the center of the circle and the object will move in a circular path. Um, the green arrow represents the direction that the ball will move if you stop applying that, that force. Now centripetal force, that's what we call that, that force. Um, centripetal force means center seeking. That is an E there. And the centripetal force causes an object to move in a circle and it always points towards the center of the circular path. So if an object moves in a curved path you should recognize that there has to be a force acting upon it. Objects don't travel in a circles by themselves there is always a centripetal force causing that to happen. If the centripetal force is removed, the object will then continue on a straight path perpendicular to the centripetal force. So I have the centripetal force directed towards the center of the circular path, but if I was able to shut it off somehow, then all of a sudden the object will travel at a tangent to the circular path or at a right angle to the centripetal force. Now let's talk about a practical application. So imagine a car turning. A car turning, then it encounters ice. It cannot turn anymore because of that ice. And that's uh, what that means is it travels in a straight line into the guardrail. So here I have a car traveling in a circle. And let's say as it travels in that circular path, it encounters a patch of ice. As soon as it hits that patch of ice, there's no more centripetal force acting on the car because the centripetal force is provided by the friction between the car tires and the road. So if you remove that friction, the ice in, uh, removes that friction, the, uh, the car is going to end up traveling in a straight line and that's because the centripetal force is equal to zero at that point.